This is Samuel Stokes with Samuel Stokes Music, and I am watching a playback of me finally beating the game ALF on the Sega Master System. This game came out in 1989 and is very loosely based on the ALF TV show. Actually doesn't have much to do with it at all, <laughs> but very loosely based on it. Um, there I am grabbing the cat that looks nothing like Lucky, uh, who's the cat on the TV show. It was a white cat with black stripes, and we have a very different color cat. Um, the Tanner's Basement has an enormous bat cave in it. I don't know, I don't remember that episode of the TV show, um, but there you have it. So I was trying to do a sort of speed run on this, although I'm not very fast, um, but I do kind of skip past some of those, uh, those dialogue boxes. So when he got to the shed there, he found a gold nugget, and it said, A gold nugget. Alf Warbucks strikes it rich once again. Ha! Now you might wonder what I was hitting those bats with. If you noticed really quickly at the beginning, I grabbed a stick of salami out of the fridge, and that is your main weapon against these bats. So you beat the bats to get the gold nugget, to go to the store to buy the key to the rooms in your own house. Don't know why they sell keys to your house at the store. But there you have it. These interesting, uh, I assume that these are members of the Alien Task Force or something with the little grabby hands. Um, that's what the speedrunning community of this likes to call them, is uh, Pete Grabby Hands. That's what uh, Lady Starbird calls them, who is... Uh, person that did a uh, great tutorial on how to play this crazy game. And here we are in the lake, where apparently uh, scuba divers harpoon swimmers. I don't know. Very strange. Um, and I had to grab uh, some more money that was like in a pizza box there. I don't know what's going on with that either. There's my spaceship. I'm kind of speeding past everything here, but crashed into the Tanner's garage. That's how Alf ends up on Earth. And having trouble getting to that door because Grabby Hands is trying to get me. Okay, by the lantern. So you can go to the Batcave again! As if it wasn't fun enough the first time. Uh, now there was also the option for Alf book there. If you get that book, something very interesting happens. <laughs> The game ends. Um, so let me see, I'll tell you what it says. When you buy that book and you open it, it says, Once upon a time, there was an alien life form. His home planet exploded, leaving him stranded in space with his friend Skip and his girlfriend Rhonda. Rhonda and Skip went to Mars. Alf crash-landed on Earth, where he became friends with a wonderful family. Life was great, even though they would not let him eat any cats. Then one day, Alf decided to fix his spaceship so he could visit his friends on Mars. Being very smart, Alf decided to sell the story of his adventure to Sega so they could make it a game. They did, and decided that if anyone ever read this book, they would have to go back to the beginning of the game. Surprise! Ha! And then you go back to the beginning. Um, that's actually a speedrunning category right now. I'm number three <laughs> out of four in that category. You can do it in under two minutes. Now, beating the full game is much more difficult to do, especially this Batcave part. One of the really difficult parts, because that stick of salami has a really hard time hitting those bats. It is not easy to do. You notice how, even when I'm hitting him, it doesn't look like I'm close enough to hit them. Uh, it's just very awkward trying to hit those bats. It's just, I would say, not programmed very well. <laughs> because it doesn't look like you're hitting them, and then when the bats hit you, it doesn't look like they're touching you. So, it's very frustrating. So I had to go all the way here to get uh, the gas for my space scooter, which Alf also does not have on the TV show. Notice the, the bottle of poison there. I guess uh, they mop the floor with poison in the Tanner house. There's uh, Grabby Hands, Alien Task Force guy again. I don't know, they just show up everywhere. Alright, not taking my spaceship. Leaving my spaceship. Note that. My spaceship is still on Earth. 
Just wanted to point that out. Just a little continuity thing coming up here. Um, all right. Bunch of jets. Just all over the sky. I know this is L.A. Uh, at least it is in the TV show. So, yeah, it's kind of realistic there'd be a few jets, but it seems like there are, are a lot all in one place just above the Tanner house. All right, now I'm on the space station where I can buy a space suit. Because uh, I guess I can breathe... You know, Alf, I guess, can breathe uh, without too much trouble, you know, even with very thin atmosphere. I don't know. So here I am flying among the uh, meteors coming down to Earth, I guess. Green meteors. I don't know. Um, and little UFOs. Uh, you would think that SETI would have discovered some of these UFOs. They seem to be so abundant just above the Earth um, that uh, someone might have discovered them at this point. But, uh, no, no, they're just there to irritate Alf, apparently. This part may not look that hard, but it is. <laughs> it's very easy to get stuck, like right there. There's nowhere to go. If I'd have gone left, I would have hit the meteor. If I'd stay still, get hit by the UFO. By the way, I don't know why the video is garbled at this point. I think it has something to do with the emulator that records the AVI not encoding it correctly or something. Or maybe my video card could handle it, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you get to see me try this several times here. Because it is really not that easy. <laughs> I mean, it looks very straightforward, but it is hard. So, yeah, um, I think maybe it was a mistake not to have the Tanners in this game, you know? <laughs> part of the show. Um, and, uh... Uh, it's, it's strange that Alf just kind of walks around town, going into stores and buying stuff. I mean, in the show, he was not able to leave home unless he was hidden or in disguise or something, so it's kind of strange. Now, you can buy a costume at the store, and you can walk around, and Alf looks like a clown. Oh, and watch this. So, I finally make it to the moon, the end of the game. Nope. Get hit by that darn UFO, just coming out of nowhere. I was not happy when that happened. Um, so yeah, I got to, you, you do get one continue, and luckily you get five more tries, so I do manage to beat it. And this is the very first time I beat the game, and I recorded the AVI while I was playing. My very first time beating it took me few weeks <laughs> playing the game to finally get to where I could get to the end. Uh, not easy. Um, see, very close. Um, did have a lot of help watching some videos. Lady Starbird made a great tutorial. Uh, watched some others. Uh, Maddie has the uh, um, record for the book ending, which uh, I worked really hard at, so I could actually get on the board for that. And then um, Darbian has the record, which I believe is 4 minutes and 53 seconds. If I remember correctly, it's really fast. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Uh, that would have taken a lot of patience, because you don't really have a lot of control over just the random elements in the game. There is one little RNG manipulation you can do at the very beginning if you watch through the title screen, the title music, until it goes to the demo, and then stop the demo and start the game from there, then it makes it to where the swimsuit always shows up in the first closet, um, which shaves some time off, and it also makes some of the things in the Batcave more consistent, but there's still some things you just really can't control, like, especially this part. This whole space part is so long, uh, I counted it being something like, oh, I think it's around 25 of those UFOs have to come by, you know, and it's more if you have to have to slow down and duck under them like that, it, it makes it longer for you to get all the way up to the moon. I think maybe this is the time I beat it. But yeah, I just really had to luck out. 
and just get just the right combination. Because you can just get boxed in. You can get in between a UFO and the falling meteors and there's nothing you can do. There we go, here I am at the moon. Ooh, almost got hit again. And it says that uh, I have a spaceship repair kit. And I'm already on my spaceship. I don't know, I guess maybe there was a, a time gap there where I took the kit all the way back to Earth. Avoiding the UFOs and the meteors all the way. And the jet planes. And then got my spaceship, and then I guess had to avoid all that stuff again. Unless, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, like inertial dampers now, um, um, deflector shield, you know, to push those things out of the way, maybe. I don't know. Pretty strange. The end. So, yeah, that's the ALF Sega Master System game. Um, Sadly, doesn't have much to do with ALF, but there you go. Now I have finally beat the thing, and I will probably never try to beat it again. <laughs>